So we had Act 4, Scene 4. It's the morning of the wedding. So the scene opens up the next morning after Juliet has taken the potion in the Caplet Mansion with Lady Caplet and the nurse. A request from some kitchen chef he comes to the two of them for some more dates and quinces. Quinces is a type of fruit. Obviously, they are very, very busy in the kitchen with the wedding cakes and wedding arrangements. Lord Caplet enters and loudly wakes up everything. He is absolutely excited. Excited at the idea of his of his young girl marrying into into wealth and went, uh, and into uh, status and power. So he goes around making demands, saying, spare no cost, buy this, buy that. The nurse and Lady Caplet are actually quite concerned, and the nurse asks him to go to bed. The fact that he has been up all night is not good. He has to be awake for his daughter's wedding. Obviously, he refuses never to be told by a lady what to do. That is the, the character of Lord Capulet. And Lady Capulet makes a, a sly remark that, yes, she is quite aware that her husband has been known to stay awake for less important reasons. Not sure if she was hinting at infidelity, that he, he might have um, been a ladies' man. Um, he then accuses her of being jealous. Just a quick um, side note over here. It is quite a dramatic irony what is happening over here because obviously in the previous scene we are aware that Juliet has just taken the potion. Basically, um, in the eyes of everyone else, uh, killing herself, committing suicide. So obviously uh, we, the audience, are anticipating what is going to happen next. We are very curious to find out what is happening next. But Shakespeare writes the play in such a way that he he sends us off from that and is 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 almost like trivializing, making light of the situation by um writing about the the scene in the household the morning of the jokes between the ha the husband and wife and the servants chattering and and, and mocking about so just a quick side note there. The scene continues where, continues where a few servants are passing Lord Capulet and um, he rushes them. Make haste, make haste, he says. And he has some small conversation with the servant re re regarding logs, probably logs for the fire, logs for the, for the stove. He then calls upon the nurse to wake Juliet. Now he's even more excited as in his mind he hears music outside and he thinks that it's Paris and that Paris has now come to him and everybody exits the scene.